Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Noor's Kitchen Connection. Today we'll be making a very nice, delicious 5-minute recipe which can be used in a iftar, as a snack, in brunches or lunches at tea times. This is mini vegetarian pizzas. These are very tempting, very delicious, at the same time healthy and appetizing too. So they'll be made with a very basic ingredients, no long term process needed. So we'll start making these delicious mini cute little pizzas. I hope you're subscribing to my channel, sharing the recipes with your friends and family. Do let me know in the comment section about your experience of trying all these recipes. So let's start making these delicious mini vegetarian pizzas. First of all, in a bowl, we'll take 500 gram of all-purpose flour. In that, we'll add 2 teaspoons of instant yeast. After that, we'll add 1 teaspoon of salt or you can add salt according to your taste. We'll add 1 fourth cup of water to make the desired consistency of the dough. Knead it well to form a firm, nice dough. Like this. Now we'll sprinkle some oil on top of this dough and cover it now this is the perfect consistency that we need about for this uh, dough. We'll cover it with a plastic film and a napkin and store it in a dark and warm place for 1 to 2 hours. We'll require these things for the filling and the topping. These are very basic and I'll let you know the exact quantities that we'll be requiring. So after 2 hours our dough has doubled in size like this perfectly done look at the yeast has done a very nice work for budding this flour this is the consistency that we need perfectly soft and nicely done now we'll transfer it to the working surface and knead it well to form these mini pizzas like this now we'll roll it like this and cut it with a appropriate size of a round cutter a biscuit cutter like this and form some mini shapes of these pizza transfer them onto the baking paper lined baking sheet tray and cover them again for 15 minutes so the size will be increased further after 15 minutes we'll remove the napkin and prick the pizzas with a fork like this we'll repeat it with all the pizzas and after that we'll spread the pizza sauce that I've prepared the herb is uh, the thyme that I've added to it these are delicious pizza sauce that I've shared in my last videos so you can see it from there too Spread it evenly on all these pizzas like this. Now we'll take oh, half a cup of bell peppers. I've taken frozen one. You can take fresh ones. It's totally optional. The colors are optional. I've got two. So I'm adding yellow and red like this. After that, I'll take half a cup of onions that I've cut it into fine cubes. Sprinkle them again on top of these bell peppers. Now these are the onions, bell pepper, tomato sauce and now one fourth cup of mushrooms. I've taken tin mushroom, you can take fresh, it's totally optional. Top it with mushrooms like this. After mushrooms, we'll top these mini cute pizzas with mozzarella cheese. This is half a cup of mozzarella cheese which I've cut it into cubes. Sprinkle on all these pizzas evenly like this after mozzarella cheese we'll add cheddar cheese or imantel cheese 
that I've taken half a cup shredded sprinkle it on top of these mini pizzas in order to, to cover them well like this now you can garnish it according to your choice either you can garnish it with mushroom or you can bake it as it is I am garnishing it with black olives so the garnish or the topping is totally optional now garnish it with black olive like this and bake it in preheated oven I have kept the oven pre at preheated temperature of 200 degree and then bake it uh, I've kept it at 200 degree for 5 minutes and now I'm going to bake it at 195 degree for 15 minutes and within these 15 minutes our little cute pizzas would be done very nicely and deliciously So do try this recipe and let me know in the comment section after you try this recipe what was your experience after 15 minutes right from the oven our delicious sizzling and hot pizzas are ready to be served you can serve it with any kind of sauce you want look at they are ba perfectly baked upside down and the cheese is evenly melted you can have it with a choice the sauce of your choice Enjoy it with your friends and family and let me know in the comment section about your experience after trying these recipes and that from which part of the world are you watching these videos. Look how evenly baked it is upside down and the dough is very very soft. Look the stretch, the softness, the moist pizza, they are very nicely done they melt in mouth and your family and friends will love it so do try this recipe see you another good recipe till then take good care of, of yourself and your loved ones